In this video, Seb and Shelley are going to show you how we turn this framework into a beautiful playhouse for our granddaughter Rosie. The things we're going to do is we're going to put the roof on, followed by the boarding. Here are the boards for my house, they've been sanded on the one side and on the other side and now we're going to paint them with a water based paint, outdoor paint. They have to be painted, coated twice and then the boards are ready to be screwed onto my house. Okay, if you like our video up to now then press the like button and subscribe down below. The house has now all the panelling on it and the window frames and the door frames have been painted pink and the next stage is that we have to build some windows, build a door and above the door there's still some panelling that needs to be fitted. We've made a cardboard template so that we can make the panelling up here and it fits on in here just right. It also fits over this side so that I can take the template now and draw around it on some wood which I've already done I've already painted it as well so hopefully this fits exactly Sepp has prepared four pieces of wood that are in front of him for the window. The window you can see behind him, it's a small window that he's going to make. He's put in the four pieces of wood a groove. Don't start dancing, it's not that sort of groove, it's a groove in the wood. Thank you. Along there. And there is another piece of wood on the table, that's the windowsill. Now we've screwed the three sides together, we're now going to measure the frame so that we can get the right measurements for the pane of glass that we we're just about to cut. Sep's so got the window into position now and I'm going to screw the window onto the hinges. <laughs> Take two. So now we want to hide those hideous hinges and put a piece of wood over them on the right and we're going to match it up with a piece of wood on the left. So as you can see we've made another window here, this is just one pane of glass. We've just made a window frame with a fixed window 
so this one can't be opened. The door frame in front of me, this is the bottom door frame. Um, we've used a biscuit joiner to make these grooves in the wood on all of them. And now I'm just going to use these biscuits and join the framework together. This is I've got the frame for the bottom door. I've now got to drill holes in here and over here as well, so that then I can attach these planks of wood to the framework. Now we're going to attach the hinges to the door. Okay, we're now going to add the orange trimming so it matches the house. We've already cut little grooves out so that fits nicely over the hinges and making sure it's all level here and here and at the top here as well. And then I'm just going to screw them, the orange planks of wood, into place. So the bottom part of the door is now finished and can be attached to the house with these hinges. This is the top part of the door that we've made exactly like we made the windows. We've put some glass in it so that our granddaughter can see out. He's got some spirits in his hand. He's going to apply the spirits around to make sure it's nice and clean. And now Sepp's going to put some silicone around the frame. So I finished the top part of the door, I made like a window, like I made the other window. Now all I've got left to do is to put some black metal paint onto these screws. And as you can see, I've got just the lid of the paint tin with a sponge. And I'm just going to dab the paint on. And here's the finished playhouse, the little window that opens and the patio where her sandpit will go. On the other side with the large panorama window and the door and I'm sure my granddaughter Rosie will absolutely love her playhouse.